Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Terry Virts spent a good deal of time this week outside of the Space Station airlock. The spacewalking duo completed their first run in six hours and 41 minutes back on February 21st, routing eight different cables that will provide power and data to the pair of international docking adapters set to arrive later this year. Four days later, Wilmore and Verts were back at it. They installed two final cables, greased some screws and bearings inside the station's robotic arm, and prepared the tranquility module for the relocation of the permanent multi-purpose module and the arrival of the station's first inflatable structure. The pair are preparing to do their third and final spacewalk, so check out coverage times and watch them live by going to nasa.gov ntv. Aside from managing a couple of spacewalkers, Samantha Crisforetti took time to give researchers a closer look at what's going on inside of her head. A study called Drain Brain is looking at how blood circulates between the human brain and the heart while in microgravity. This could help us understand how neurological symptoms like headaches can occur in some crew members. The tool developed for this study has also proven to be ideal for monitoring patients here on the ground for a wide range of heart and brain disorders. This week, Derek wanted to know if the station could be made even bigger by adding new parts. Well, since the station was designed to be assembled in space piece by piece, it most certainly can. Every major element of the station was flown up and attached separately. And this week's spacewalks are getting us ready for some new additions in the coming months. New docking adapters and the new inflatable Bigelow expandable activity module will add some more real estate to the station structure, and there's even plans for more additions by our Russian colleagues in the years to come. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.